This is like not committing to it. Seems to be on his way. Not this exit. L and hit inch in there, DC. Exhaust battery. Head that stung. The straight left. Now to try to check here and run. Bad. This guy. Total struck. Now he big connection. All the comments we don't spend enough time talking. Well, he well finds up. Great punt. Look at going to the head. Oh. Next, it's a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and Anderson Silva. All right, so here he is, the former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson Silva. The pro record doesn't look like it did a few years ago, DC, but most people still inject the name Anderson Silva into the discussion of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. It's because Anderson is doing us a favor every time he steps foot in the octagon. He could have walked away and protected the record, but the lure, the draw of fighting, still is pulling at the spider. And every time he walks in there, we're getting the witness greatness. You feel it when Anderson Silva walks up the steps. I remember staring across the octagon and going, holy cow, that's Anderson Silva. And he has that approach. He has that appeal to everyone that gets in front of him, not only in the octagon, but in life. One of the nicest guys you've ever met is Anderson Silva. And a renewed focus on recovery and physical therapy has allowed the great Anderson Silva to compete deep into his 40s, DC. You ain't going 45. I'm not There's going no way. 45. Ain't You're no chance. You're going to voice a video game. I'm going to voice a video game. <laughs> what a great idea. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. McGregor is 32, Silva is 45. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson. Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! The notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He 
knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Finds a home for that left hook. Well, it's one thing to have length, that's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Silva. Whiffs on the straight right hand. McGregor gets touched by that kick to the body. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Now he touches him with the left. With that punch, no good. Don't stop. Keep going. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by McGregor. Beautiful hook. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Kick to the body by McGregor. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike. Are you ready? You ready? Round two underway. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, D. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he landed. Great job. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent's getting the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. So 41 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. And landing with four. There, DC, he massive, hurt. massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. He lands with the left. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. <laughs> yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be with it like this, it only exhausts you. Because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> well, he's really picked up the pace here in round, round two. Much more aggressive now to hear himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. His misses are entertaining. Whoa! Whoa! the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. I mean, look at the commitment. Thunderous leg kick rounds right. his opponent trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the construction of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, you can feel the breeze. He's there, showing his leg kick rounds his opponent and trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny hurt. Hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big cut land over the top. I was gonna call this one. Look at him top of the wheel. Top of the wheel with those leg kicks. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. for the spinning sidekick to the body, but he missed. 73 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Well, not this exit. He got him! What a performance! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of the third round. We play the winner by TKO Anderson, the Spider Silva. Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he... Two.